Hello, good morning, everyone. Actually, I much appreciate this uh, this kind of presentation since I did last because I can express my opinion. You know, maybe most of the people do not agree, but they don't have many options, and you cannot the, the door is closed. <laughs> you cannot <laughs> run away or something like this. So I'll take the, this uh, opportunity to express my ideas between the differences uh, of uh, using a, a broadcast or watching a video if your objective is to learn English. Uh, actually, I would like to start this presentation uh, in a way to make sure that all of us understand uh, what is the TEDx, what is the YouTube, and what is the broadcast, and how I define it. And please feel free to interrupt me for your questions, or in the case that you have a different uh, understanding of, uh, uh, of the subject we are talking about. Uh, so, uh, TEDx is an organization which invites people who want to speak about emerging issues in society. It can be technology oriented, culturally oriented, art, art oriented, or uh, everything else that the presenter wishes to, uh, to, deal, uh, to deal with. The point is that TEDx recently decided to upload and open all the, uh, most of the videos they have online. This gives the opportunity to every to each one of us uh, to watch this uh, uh, these videos and uh, uh, being uh, uh, being able to create his own opinion on this uh, on these uh, issues. So, uh, on the other hand, uh, the the broadcasts that we have in our mind uh, usually come from uh, professional radio presenters, or either it is. Uh, an audio book, so it's usually a more structured, well-oriented uh, way of uh, understanding a given issue. Uh, these two options are all clear to us, I think, no? Good. So, we go to the next step. Uh, what do you believe is the, uh, it's the, the main advantage of uh, watching a video on, uh, on YouTube or TEDx? Would you like to express your opinion? Later on, maybe. So, <laughs> uh, so the, the, the main advantage practically is that uh, we have a visual representation of the world discussion. So, for a beginner or a early stage learner of the English language, uh, it's easier to understand uh, the, the, uh, the gist, the, 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 the important part of the discussion. Because practically, uh, this discussion is uh, accompanied with uh, a visual presentation, a presentation probably, or uh, uh, a very nice graph, or uh, a very nice picture. So, following this discussion, it's much easier. Point, point one. <laughs> Second, uh, it's very important also uh, learning a language to be able to understand these uh, experts. You know, these language experts know what's better, and of course. Uh, uh, are, uh, very, it's very important to understand also the visual signals uh, of a given culture. I can provide you an example. Uh, I come uh, originally from Greece, so in the, uh, I discuss frequently with uh, uh, with uh, my Bulgarian friends. So I invite him, them. Okay, let's go for. Uh, I mean, let's go for a coffee. Let's uh, meet up outside. And they say, uh, No, today I cannot. This actually, this kind of. Uh, Moving your head in this way, in my culture, means yes. But in different culture, maybe means something different. So, if someone is able uh, to have an additional input, a visual input, maybe it has better chances of understanding the language itself. So, it's very important uh, to understand the language itself, and also, the way an individual behaves, uh, because usually creating an argument or building an argument uh, needs uh, effort uh, in speaking, but also in showing what is important or less important. Keep in pauses uh, or other minor things uh, that could make the difference. Uh, for the broadcast, uh, so we have completely different advantages, to my understanding. 
Uh, first of all, they are uh, much more easily accessible. Someone can have a broadcast on his mobile, walk around the street and uh, listen to this interesting broadcast or an audiobook. The same applies to an audiobook. So, or inside the car. I mean, it's something that uh, can be uh, can be somehow uh, be there with another activity. Someone can drive and listen to an audiobook, uh, walk on the street. This is not actually what I propose you to do because, you know, it's not nice walking on the street and uh, uh, not paying enough attention and uh, you're walking and up, you know, on the, on the track or so. Uh, so, uh, the... Uh, uh, so, and uh, actually, this means that also the, uh, the broadcast themselves are uh, available through different media. Uh, you don't have to have an iPhone or a computer to listen to the radio. Uh, it's actually a cheap, cheaper way uh, to advance uh, the language learning in uh, emerging societies. Uh, now, when it comes to uh, to the criticisms of, uh, of this uh, means of communication. Uh, someone who wants to learn the language, understand the culture, and uh, has, has to have it in, in, in mind. Uh, the, at the TEDx you will find usually presentations that represent the way of thinking of the, uh, of the uh, of the organizers of the conference. Uh, so, for example, uh, you will not find the most uh, uh, intriguing or uh, different, uh, different than I mean, more aggressive or more different than the main culture uh, uh, expression or, si or ideas. So, just, just a note: you're at seven minutes. Uh, so, uh, y y you need to understand that uh, TEDx is it's, it's very good to learn specific issues about a given uh, culture, but you will not learn everything. On the other hand, YouTube has this advantage. On YouTube you can find more or less all the videos you would like. To. So, there are different uh, channels there. You can check the channel you prefer. You can listen to this, uh, to these ideas. Uh, so. These are the main points, actually. I have to say about this, uh, about the differences between the different uh, the the media to to learn English. Uh, to my understanding, uh, it's uh, if someone has very good access to uh, TEDx, uh, YouTube, the visual way of uh, learning, I think it's more convenient to understand uh, what's happening in a given language. Well, but on the other hand, the broadcasts are not bad for the day. Uh, well, this is more or less what I wanted to say. Okay. And uh, thank you for your time and your uh, attention. I've seen some of you have been getting bored, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay, questions? Uh, just one clarifying question. So did you say when you met your friend of friend from Bulgaria, the way he or she nodded is different from yours? No, I just wanted to provide an example. It doesn't mean uh, something, you know, I just wanted to make a difference between uh, uh, the cultures. That the visual signals maybe can be different, can, can be sometimes different. So, so if someone no. only listens to a given, uh, receives, receives, receives uh, the information listening, maybe misses something else. So this is what I wanted to say. I don't want to give attention to the specific issues of someone coming from Greece. Or it was about body language. It's the body language itself. I, I don't want to overestimate the body language. I mean, to, to give much attention to the body language itself. I think, uh, to my opinion, the communication should come from mostly from the language, not from the body language. How, how do you agree in Greece uh, with your head nodding? I mean, you say something. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, I agree. Yeah, this is not always the same in different cultures. Because I think that some in some countries they do this way to agree. Yeah, exactly. So that's why uh, so, so I, I, I just wonder whether it's Greece or not. So uh. Uh, yeah, exactly. This is what I was. Uh, 
this is a bulk example of this uh, of the situation. Sometimes you say the same thing, but you express it in a different way, and you create misunderstandings. Mm -hmm. Or you questions? say different things, and uh, you think that you say the same. Thing. Thank you. One more question. <laughs> <laughs> no.